What's going on and welcome back. So I'm pretty excited to make this video today because this is the official introduction video of the project that is my 2016 Mustang GT. So in a previous live stream, my project was given a name. Street Slayers was the person that came up with that name. Big shout out to him. And I put his name up here and everything so you guys can go follow him. He's on Instagram as well. But like I said, huge shout out to him because I think it's a really cool name. So without further ado, I present to you Project Stepchild. As you can see in the video clips, right now we have the race star wheels on one side of the car and my 350R LMR wheels on the other side. Uh, I wanted to do a test fit of the wheels to see what it looked like and I think it looks really good. Um, I also did a weight comparison. I wanted to see how much weight this drag setup would save. Um, I was thinking it was going to be more than what it actually is. If any of you guys run this setup or a similar setup, um, you know, let me know what you're saving weight wise as far as that goes. But these are 17 by nine and a half in the rear, 18 by fives in the front, and. I'll put up some pictures here. I took pictures of the wheels and tires on the scale. Now I'm just using a regular home scale, you know, nothing fancy, but um, you know, it's gonna be close. But to do the math for you, it is 53.2 pounds. I was hoping for more, but you know, I mean, 53 pounds is 53 pounds. So in my, Last video on the weight of the car, we were at 37.60. So, you know, that puts us 37.08 roughly, or 37.07, roughly somewhere in there. So I guess not too bad for a start. Um, like I said in that video, you know, we're, we're gonna do some more weight reduction. I already do have some parts here. Um, I've got a DSS aluminum drive shaft. That should be lighter than the stock drive shaft, so that's gonna save us some weight there. I do have the DSS 2000 horsepower half shafts here. Um, I'm not sure how they compare weight-wise with the stock half shafts. Hopefully they don't weigh more. If they do, that's just adding weight back on. But is what it is. We gotta have strong parts so the things don't break, and hopefully they don't break but I do have those here. So I got the drive shaft, got the half shafts. I do have boundary oil pump gears. I did get those in. I have a TSS crank sprocket. So that stuff is going on. Uh, let's see what else do I have. Order a BMR drive shaft loop. Got to have that because we'll be running slicks. Eventually we're going to hit these tires hard on the launch. And we did get the supercharger. 
Uh, I think I revealed it in my one of my live streams that we went with a Whipple 2.9 liter supercharger. So I am extremely excited about that. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. Um, and you've already seen the car with the drag setup. But I wanted to do this video as an official introduction of the project. So it's underway. Uh, right now we are just getting parts in, gathering parts and um, you know trying to decide which way to go as far as transmission. Um, a lot of people are saying, you know, you stick with the stock MT82. <sighs> you know, I know you can have them built and you know, that would be fine. But my main concern with that is it's got an integrated bell housing. You can't change the bell housing. So you cannot run a blow proof or safety bell housing. Uh, that's, that's a pretty big concern because if we start going fast with this car, which hopefully we will, my first goal is mid nines in the quarter. That's my first goal. That's what I want to run. I know I'm not going to run that right off the bat. I got to get used to the car, obviously, but that is the first goal. After that, eights, sevens, whatever, you know, whatever it will be then. But first goal is mid nines in the quarter. And I think the car can do it. I think it can do it, I won't say easily, but I think that goal is very obtainable. So that is the goal. So I want to be safe doing it as well. You know, I don't want to put myself at risk. So I can't decide on transmission or I haven't decided. I'm not sure which way to go. The Magnum XL would give me everything that I need as far as safety. And it would also give me a one-to-one -one ratio in fourth gear. The MT82, in order to get to the one-to-one -one gear, that's fifth gear. <laughs> I really don't want to shift into fifth. Um, I've never drag raced a car that I had to shift to fifth. So fourth gear has always been one-to-one. -one. But anyway, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Let me know what you guys think um, as far as transmission. We talked about it on a live stream, but I do want some more opinions on that. Um, you know, the other view viewers out there that don't make it in the live stream, leave a comment below, you know, let me know what you think. Um, I'm leaning heavily towards the Magnum XL. You know, I, I just think that's the way to go. Safety wise, and from what I've seen, um, it is a very strong and very well shifting transmission from what I've seen online, um, what people have been saying. So it sounds like a winner to me. Um, you can get a whole conversion kit with it. Um, so it sounds like the way to go, but I would like some more input. Um, maybe if you guys, if any of you guys have run that transmission, I would love to hear from you, your thoughts, that kind of thing. But that's where we're at with this build. Gathering parts, trying to figure out which way to go with the transmission. And, you know, in the back of my mind, keeping safety there and make sure we do this safely. There's a lot of people out there that are running fast without safety equipment. And I'm not sure how they're getting away with it. Um, I've talked about it with Speed Addict 731, Determined Veteran. We've talked about it um, rather extensively, but I don't know how they're getting away with it. Um, yeah, I know they're not at a sanctioned event, but typically tracks follow NHRA rules and, you know, typically they enforce them. Maybe they don't. Maybe times have changed. I don't know. Um, my last car that I drag raced, I actually got on this channel, was a 92 mustang it was a coupe and that was back in 2010 was the last time i took that car to the track um other than that you know i got coyote ugly or had coyote ugly it had a full cage though it had a, a blow proof bell housing on it it had all the safety features it needed so there was no concern with that car but with this one i'm not sure which way to go um, 
or what I'm required to have. Um, you can always put in more. You can always, you know, add a roll cage or, you know, make sure you have all this extra safety stuff. But I don't know what's enforced anymore. I know these cars are, are built a lot better than before. They have the airbags and all that stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what is considered safe. You know, I've never, obviously this is the first time that I'm building this new of a car for drag race duty. But anyway, feel free to comment below, offer your advice, opinions, you know, what have you. I'd love to hear it all. So, but anyway, this is now Project Stepchild. That's the name going forward. That's what we are calling this car she is going to be badass i have no doubt in my mind that the car is going to be fast and we're going to be looking to run a lot of races um i definitely want to get out there possibly with other youtubers and see who stacks up against who i don't know maybe that's a whole nother video but we'll see. But this is this is Project Stepchild. This is our build. This is happening. It's going down. This is going to start to be one badass build. Stick with me. We got parts coming in. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. So anyway, hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we'll see you on the next one.